demonstration, we will concentrate on the making of a wet mound and we will use onion epidermal cells. Now, first of all, what is meant by a wet mound? A wet mound is when you use or want to view any specimen under a microscope and place it in any drop of liquid. It can either be water, and in this instance, I will use a coloring agent like iodine solution. So I have pre-cut a few pieces of onion, and on the inside, it's best to first remove the first three fleshy leaves, and then you will get to the thin layer that you can just pull away from the fleshy, and you will find that. Beforehand, place your liquid onto your microscope slide, one or two drops, and very carefully, not to let it fall, you try and put your layer onto your microscope slide and you cover it with this cover slip. With a cover slip, you have to work very carefully. Normally, if it's smaller than this, use a safety pin or something, and from the one slide, for, or from the one side, you slide it and put it down carefully so that you can prevent any air bubbles from forming and otherwise you won't be able to view anything. Then you have, and you go to your microscope, and you have your eyepiece. And normally your eyepiece will indicate the type of magnification that you use. And you have your three objective lenses. And you normally start with the smallest, and this is the four times magnification, and you start focusing until you see something. If you see the cells, and you can see it so beautifully, even the nucleus inside, you can go down and go to the next magnification of the objective lenses, and you focus once again. After focusing, and you don't have a lot of apparatus, you can take your cell phone, and you can take a photo of what you see. And once you have the image, you can project it, and this is what can be seen under the microscope. And this is how you make a wet mound, and from this, what you see. And if you don't have a lot of microscopes, and this is also a fun way of using a cell phone effectively in a classroom, is Bluetooth it to the rest of the class, and they can draw whatever they see from the cell phone. And very important, once you are done with everything, you wash your microscope slides and your cover slips, put it on a towel, paper towel to dry, so that you can reuse those again.